we, the people of Singapore, have made our contribution. But it wasn't always easy for the two sides to work together. Serious differences emerged. Lee wanted a Malaysian Malaysia, where Malays and non-Malays were equal. He would not condone a policy that supported Malay supremacy. Differences mounted, from conflicts between personalities and disagreements about a common market, to the PAP's participation in Malaysia's general election. Malaysian politicians considered it a breach of understanding for the PAP to take part in mainland politics. Things came to a head over constitutional rights. Lee addressed the Malaysian parliament in May 1965 in both English and Malay, laying out his case against communal politics. <laughs> Takkan saya tak tak setia kepada Malaysia supaya menteri dari Sarawak takkan dia kalau balik rumah panjangnya dia cakap bahasanya dia tak ada tak setia kepada Malaysia saya tidak percaya dia masih selalu tak setia. I think it's generally known that he caused a sensation by addressing Parliament in Kuala Lumpur uh, in in Raja Malay. Um, he spoke Malay better than the, the many Malays. <laughs> they were absolutely astounded. And uh, I was very apprehensive about it. Um, and, and, and I was right to be apprehensive too, yes. The back benches were spellbound. They understood every word. That was the turning point. They perceived him as a dangerous man who could one day be the Prime Minister of Malaya. Well, this was the speech that changed history. When you speak in Parliament, you must speak very carefully. You, know? you, you couldn't make mistake. And he didn't finish the speech. So he asked the speaker to give him to continue the next day because Parliament went no recess. So the speaker said, I give you 45 minutes the next morning. But when uh, Parliament uh, began the next morning, the Speaker didn't allow, didn't allow him to speak. And he stood up, he said, you promised me yesterday, but no. So then we knew that that Malay speech must have, must have uh, I mean, uh, some uh, very bad effect on the leadership of the government. I noticed that while he was speaking, the uh, alliance leaders, Tungobar Rahman, Tom Razak, Tan Siu Sin, and the rest, were sitting in front of us. They got a table that sang low and low and low until only their head, because they were embarrassed. This man could speak Malay better than them. They say they are worried about the Malays. I say, so are we. We want to raise their standard of living, and we will, and faster than they can. At the end of 5, 10, 15, 20 years, a new generation will grow up that will no longer respond to the special VHF they use. <laughs> They'll be tuning into the multilingual network. They'll be thinking like us, working like us, trained like us, prepared to live with us like Malaysians. Then we win. And history is on our side.